Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 729 of our trek, and it is time for our Mind Shift Monday series. Wisdom Trek's primary focus is to assist you in creating your living legacy. Creating your living legacy can only be accomplished by gaining wisdom in many areas of life. You can only gain wisdom by changing what you allow to go into your mind, which is the result of changing the way you think. In other words, to create a living legacy, you must choose to be in continual mode of mind shift. It is so easy to get stuck in the mindset that your current circumstances cannot be changed, but this is just not true. But you must understand this fundamental principle. In order to change your life, you must change how you think and what you think about. Our Mind Shift Monday podcast and journal will provide you with the practical ways to make a mind shift to a rich and satisfying life. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Have you ever met anyone who does not have any problems in their life? No, I haven't either. Now, I have met some that seem to have so many problems that if it weren't for bad luck, they'd have no luck at all. They seem to go from one drama to the next, but no one has to live that way. So let me ask you, what's your problem? Problems are many things to many people, but let's look at it through the eyes of those people that successfully handle problems on a consistent basis. Problems are predictors. They forecast the future by exposing areas of potential weakness. How you react to your difficulties when they begin to surface will determine where you and the problems will be tomorrow. No trial will leave you the same person that you are today. The decisions we make today concerning the problems that we face will shape our future. This requires that we are in a continual mind shift mode to most effectively handle those problems. Remember, the circumstances which we find ourselves today are a direct reflection of the decisions that we made yesterday. The decisions that we make are a direct reflection of what we allow to enter into our minds. So let's look at a few points about problems. First of all, problems are reminders. They remind us that we need God to help us to handle the upheavals of life. The Apostle Paul realized if he had just thought, I can do everything, that he would have been arrogant with an improper mindset, which would have caused many problems in his life. Instead, he knew the truth as he wrote Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Paul knew the secret of success was much more than self-confidence, but Christ's confidence. His achievement could only come through Christ. He succeeded because in every problem he remembered that truth. Next, problems are obstacles. Problems frustrate us while we attempt to reach our specific objectives and goals. For instance, a baby or toddler handle most obstacles by crying or whining. Some adults never outgrow this phase as they pout, quit, blame someone else, or just ignore the entire situation. Others, though, come up with a solution on how they will eliminate the problem, or at least work around them in order to keep moving forward. Regardless of our reaction to a problem, For the time, it is an obstacle on our trek of life. The next point is, problems are a blessing. Problems will refine us until the dross of our frailty burns off and we become stronger on our trek through life. A smooth trail never makes a skillful hiker. Problems actually help to keep us alert and sharp. Otherwise, we will become complacent and unmotivated. A few problems and tensions can be good for us, as long as we address them and work through them successfully. Too many unsolved problems can weigh us down and stifle us. But King David wrote in Psalms chapter 119, verse 71, My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Next, problems are lessons. Problems teach us to be flexible, yet determined. Most of life lessons are taught through trial and error. This is the life course that we've labeled experience. Experience is a hard teacher, though, because it gives us a test first and the lesson afterwards. You might say that experience was yesterday's answer to today's problems. Next, we want to realize that problems are everywhere. Problems are no respecter of person, places, or time. If a person is wise, they will discover that a life is a mixture of good days and bad, victory and defeat, give and take. You need to learn that it doesn't pay to be too sensitive to the difficult treks of life. It is best to shake off the dirt and keep on moving forward. You must learn that losing your temper or throwing a temper tantrum is never the best course of action. Everyone must eat burnt toast for breakfast now and then. It is not the best, but if you take yourself too seriously, 
others will not take you seriously either. The next point is problems are messages. Problems are indicators of what might possibly lie ahead on our trail. They are waypoints measuring progress and development in life. They are the maps or the GPS providing us with vital feedback and information. Sometimes they tell us that we are way off path and we need to start a new trail. They should never be ignored or you will find yourself lost on your trek of life. You need to take time to analyze and study each problem and interpret the message that they are sending. Then you can respond appropriately. And our final point is problems are solvable. There is always a solution to a problem. Perhaps it may not be evident initially, but there is a solution. The difficulty does not lie in finding the solution, but being willing to pay the price to solve the problem. There is always a solution. You must be willing to find it. Next week, we will continue our trek on MindShift Monday. On tomorrow's trek, though, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you so much for joining me on this trek that we call life. So encourage your friends and family to join us, and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 728 daily treks or read the daily journal, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.